Hi guys. Today I'm going to tell you about protecting your Excel files. Excel gives you several ways to protect a workbook. You can require a password to open it, a password to change the data, and a password for changing the structure of the files, for example, adding, deleting, or hiding worksheets. But remember though, that this type of protection does not include encryption of your files. This means that users can still use third-party softwares and tools to access the data. So how can we enable it? First of all, I will tell you how you can do it on a file level. So when you have a file, the first thing that you do is that you save that file. So you go to the Save menu. You select and browse the place, but there is a small sub-menu that is Tools. When you click on it, there is General Options. In the General Options, you have Password to open or Password to modify. So you can restrict the user. Either they cannot open the file at all, or they can not modify the file unless they have the password. So there you can set your own password of your choice, and then you can restrict the users to uh, open that file. I will go back again and show you how you can do it. So, as I said, you have to go to the file menu first, save as, and then browse the place where you want to save it. And before you save it, you have to go to the general options and add a password here. The password you enter should be identical because it will verify over here. So it should be identical. In a case, if it's not, you'll get a message like this, that password is not identical. So you have to enter again and make sure that the password is the same on both times. So you save it. Let's save this file for our convenience on the desktop so that we can quickly access and open it. So it's already there. Yes, I want to replace it. Let's close the file and let's see if I open the file, how does this react? So let's go to the file, open. Do you remember where was it? Yes, correct. It was on the desktop. So we'll go to the desktop and book one was the file. There you go. It's asking for the password now. What is the password? Okay. Thankfully, I remember the password because I set it up. So I'll put the password again here, which is the correct password. Let's make it an incorrect one. And there you go. The message is password you supply is not correct. Or verify your caps lock is off or on. So there we go. We go back because it turns you back and then now we will enter the correct password. The moment you press OK, you have the access to the file and now you can change, update, remove, delete or uh, modify the data. Now to help improve the privacy um, in Excel, a password adds protection to worksheets to help prevent others from changing, moving or deleting uh, important data. So for that reason, you can either uh, password protect your worksheet or you can also password protect your workbook. Let me show you how you can do it. So when you go to Excel, this is the tab and the review tab contains protect workbook. So here you can uh, limit the users to edit the structure of the file. So if you go give it a password over here, the users will not be able to modify the structure of the file. Then we have protection on the sheet. So this allows you to lock the cust your, your users from modifying the sheet or formatting or inserting columns or anything. So what we do is that we will allow users only um, to select the cells and that's it. Rest of the capabilities will not allow them to do anything on the sheet. So we'll set up a quick password and let's press OK. Again, we have to verify that the password is the same. OK, now all the features are disabled for us unless we unprotect the sheet by going back to review. So you see, we cannot access anything unless we provide the password. So the formatting has been disabled for us. The user cannot do anything unless he goes back unprotect and fills in the password and if it is correct everything will be in the colors again which means it is enabled and 
you can your user can use it uh, in formatting the data or doing whatever he wants to do so that was another quick example of uh, locking or password protecting your worksheets and workbooks and their structures i hope you enjoyed the session and i hope guys that you're able to protect your sheets now i wish you all the best talk to you again bye bye